I literally show you me taking it out the box, doing a one-two plug. I mean, it's not lifting up to go anywhere. No glue, no nothing. Like, you could just, you can take this off your head, save your edges. In the morning when you wake up, boom, bam, right back on your head. <laughs> welcome back to my channel so it's very late at night it's like almost 10 p.m. but I wanted to do this video because I just I'm so excited and I want to see how this wig is gonna look today's wig is provided by AF sister they said let me actually tell you what this this is the box and when you open it up your wig comes like this it comes in the protective plastic it? yes it comes in the protective net it doesn't come in a plastic bag i noticed that with af sister wigs it doesn't come with a plastic bag it does come with this tied around it i received it two weeks ago and i was like too excited so i actually opened it because as you guys know i love curly hair for one and i love to highlight my curly hair so they reached out to me and they were like they have the curly hair pre-highlighted and all of that i was like well i want to see what you're working with because the last Last company that was supposed to give me a highlighted wig gave me a brown yellow mess if you guys remember that video comment down below okay so this is their pre highlighted wig it's a six by six closure so this is for anybody that doesn't want to put on a frontal this is for anybody that is a beginner but they want the frontal natural look this is the wig for you so I'm gonna show you the inside of the wig so it did come with a scrunchie and a wig cap i love that they give this type of wig cap if you know this is the one that has like the brownish tint because there's two types of nude wig caps there's one that's like a pinkish type of color and then there's that one and i really like that one but i always prefer the brown ones because for these ones i still have to add some color like some foundation on it and i really don't want to do that i want to do this wig glueless today the lace is a little bit yellow but i'm gonna tint that okay so this is the wig I, it came out up here. This is the inside construction of the wig. It comes with four combs. So there's three. There's two by the ears. There's one in the middle. And there's one in the back. It comes with this adjustable, detachable elastic band that I really like. I like this bra strap type of band. So even if your head is small, you can always do the last hook. Or if it's bigger, you could always do that hook. Or you could just use the elastic band that comes inside of the wig if you don't like that. I normally would cut off this because I don't like the way that it feels inside of on my head. But this lace is very stretchy and nice. Okay, I'm liking it so far. I did not wash this wig i'm literally showing you my first impression i'm gonna run my hands through the hair so this hair is pre-highlighted and okay so this is how much shedding i got from running my hands through the wig i won't i won't say this is bad because of the hair being mm, because of the hair being pre-lightened for you already i'm not gonna say this is bad i'm gonna put this on my head so we can see how the lace is looking i'm gonna leave the strap but i'm just gonna tighten this elastic band because i want this wig to feel it fits super snug just because I'm not putting any glue oh yeah I normally don't wear my wigs with the a lot with that band in there I've never seen a wig with this type of color lace before all right I might have to go back in and tighten my elastic band okay so this is how let me zoom in this is how the lace is looking so I I have to go in and pluck this wig. I have to bleach the knots because as you can see, you can see you can see the dot. Those are knots that needs to be bleached. Um, I don't want to do that tonight. I'm just doing a simple install. So I am gonna go ahead and pluck this because if I don't if I don't pluck this, it's just going to look crazy. But I do like the highlight. Um, I want to do a half half up, half down. But it came with like a pre part, middle part. All right. Let me see that. Oh my gosh. This is about to do too much. Okay, so I'm going to pluck this wig. I'm going to take it off of my head. I'm going to put it on my mannequin head and pluck it really quick. And then I'll come back. I do believe I have a plucking tutorial. So if I do, I will link it up now above over here. I'm just going to pluck this really quick. And then I'm going to come back and install it. Because if you're going to do something glueless, you have to make sure that your knots are bleached. And you also have to make sure that your wig is plugged. If it's not plugged, then it's just going to look like a wig. And this is giving me very wavy so you're going to have to pluck your wig when you receive it i'll be right back i'm gonna go pluck this so i think because of my mannequin head you'll be able to see the knots a little better but this is the hairline of the wig straight out of the packaging all right so i'm gonna go ahead and 
comb this wig out i really thought this was gonna be i'm plucking my wig right here i really thought this was gonna be a quick easy install but beginners y'all gonna need somebody to pluck your wig or if you're gonna watch tutorials to pluck your wig then do that i feel like i need to do an updated q a like a get to know me tag so i feel like you guys don't really know me so leave some questions down below that you would like me to answer in one of my videos leave um some get to know me questions like some questions that you want to know about me like what i like all that type i really can't stand that this damn thing is not bleached okay so i'm gonna use my ruby kisses two-sided foundation in the color 14 i recommend like i noticed that when i use this if i use my glue it gives me bumps on my forehead i don't use glue anymore but when i used to use the glue it gives me bumps on my forehead so i recommend that if you're getting your hair done with glue or you're doing your hair with glue i recommend using a lace tint to tint your lace but if you're doing like uh glueless like how i do completely or with a spray you could use this because then you could be able to wash your hairline off when you take your wig off you know so i'm gonna use this today um i plucked the wig just a little bit just to give it like a little natural area in the front because it was very boxy i'm gonna go ahead and put this in the lace oh my gosh my lips look so ashy okay so so the most important thing for your glueless unit a lot of people was like how do you make a glueless da, 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 like sewing something in you have to make sure that you clip these to the tightest area and if it's not tight enough you're gonna have to tie it together and then use your comb to stick it at the back of your head i don't like to you do that just because i noticed some breakage at the back of my head if i do put the comb in the back there so i just leave it hanging it doesn't bother me but if it bothers you then you could just stick your comb in the back of your head so i put it on the tightest one which is right here and then i'm gonna put this on my head and see if it's tight enough this wig is kind of big i'm gonna make my mom try this wig on all right i do have to go in and plug this some more and also bleach the the thing but i just want to do a straight out of the box install and i got this wig like a while ago so i feel like it's aired out and everything if anything i'm going to cut the lace off i like to cut it in a zigzag motion because i feel like that gives it the most natural type of look this is a real lazy girl install to be honest and when i get to the size i make sure that i cut i cut it so it's not poking out because i don't want it to really like poke out too much i want to be able to cover this good this is giving me very much party city hairline, but oh well. Okay, so I'm gonna cut off this area and do the same exact thing in a zigzag motion. So it's all zigzag in the front. Let me zoom in. So it's all like a zigzag type of thing. It's kind of uncomfortable around my ear because I feel like it's too big for some reason. Or something is going on right here that's uncomfortable. I don't like nothing messing with my piercing. So I'm telling y'all how it is. So, okay, so I'm going to do the edges now. And for glueless units, I always recommend doing edges just because it makes it look more natural than if you weren't doing edges so i'm going to part out the edges and you're going to have to tweeze it just because it's gonna look very dense so just get your tweezers and tweeze the edges so once you do that then you can just cut the edge area i try to cut it kind of short just so that it gets more of a natural feel so i'm gonna do this side first obviously because i just cut this side okay so i'm gonna use some mousse i'm gonna use the paul mitchell mousse but i want to finish this side so i'm just going to plug this side the same way so i can do them both at the same time then i'm gonna put the mousse my battery is dying i'm gonna put the mousse all over the hairline And I'm going to swoop the edges. I guess I'm doing natural edges because tie this down just so it can dry. So 
I'm gonna tie it down with my trap it touches head wrap and you can purchase this in the link I'm gonna have it down below so you can purchase yours and I'm gonna blow this on warm air I think it's ready it feels a little bit cold but this is okay for me yeah it could have dried a little bit longer but that's fine this is my lazy install like this is the I need to go now install so I want to tie it down because I want to do a half up half down style so I'm gonna tie it down still just so I'm not pulling this off of my head I'm going to comb out that middle part I'm going to use some mousse because I am putting it up in a half up half down so I need to get rid of that middle part I just don't want to use heat because I'm gonna have to um put on my hot comb and I don't have time so I'm gonna sculpt it into the half up half down so now I'm just going to part out okay so I'm going to get the hair tie that came in the package and I'm going to use this Alright, and then once I have it, I'm going to pull it tight. I'm going to take piece from the back and I'm going to wrap it around the base. Like right here. I'm going to use this. I'm going to wrap it. I'm going to wrap it around the base. Oh my gosh, my arms is hurting. This is how it's looking. I'm going to add some mousse to the top area just to tame down the frizz a little bit. That's just gonna tame the frizz and I want to put some at the bottom of the hair and I'm going to scrunch it just to give it that curl. If you watch me I already know we use mousse because mousse dries faster than water. I'm just gonna keep scrunching it just so it can give me that ringlet at the ends and it's not too stringy. Okay I'm gonna untie this and just check up on the front of the hair so I can like fix the edges and all of that. So it did move back quite a bit so I want to pull this down. All right so now I'm going to fix the edges again just to make sure it's to my liking because it was already molded to be like this so you could also use some hairspray but I'm not going to use that today. So I'm going to wait for it to dry. I actually really, really, really like this. I'm gonna make sure that I'm covering the back of the hair. I'm gonna turn around so y'all can see. This is the back. I hope it's looking good. <laughs> And this is the front. I'll come back when it's completely dry. It's like 95% dry, so mousse dries really fast. So we don't need to spend a long time on that. All right, so I've come to the conclusion. If you don't know how to highlight your wig, if you don't have the patience to highlight your wig, this is the wig, okay? This wig is a six by six deep part in space. The only thing you might have to do is bleach it, but I didn't bleach it just to show you if you didn't want to bleach it, you wouldn't have to bleach it. Just do a little plucking and swoop some baby hairs in the front. This, these highlights remind me of my highlight. So if you want to put some highlights in your wig and you're not sure, um, this is the wig to get okay if you like curly wigs and you like highlights and you want to curl you want to highlight a curly wig ah uh ah -uh, this already came pre-highlighted for you so go ahead and check out af sister i'm gonna have their links down below so y'all can check them out this is actually really beautiful i would go ahead and like give it a blunt chop and wash it i think when i wash it and i um detangle it with my with my brush and style it it's gonna be like even more curly but these are just the straight out of the box type of package i did scrunch it to kind of give it some of its curls and some body i really like this this. this is really my style this is my vibe you already know don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me know how you feeling about this wig this wig is like this is the beginner friendly wig this is the i literally show you me taking it out the box doing a one two pluck and 30 minutes it is literally 10 33 so like 30 minutes 35 minutes max to put this wig on like no glue no nothing like you could just lift this back you can take this off your head Take this off your head, put it on your mannequin head. Save your edges. Yeah. Save your edges. And in the morning when you wake up, boom, bam. Right back on your head. And the only thing you're going to have to do is fix your edges again. 
and you're good to go. I'm not even fixing it no big type of way. I'm just like swooping with the comb. But yeah, this is the easy wig that you put on and go. This is the easy wig you run to the store. This is the easy wig you, you go on for a date in 30 minutes. Put your wig on. That This is so quick. And you only have to do the 30 minutes one time. After that, it takes you like 7 minutes max to put your wig on. Because you just put it on like how I showed you. And you do your edges. You could do your edges with some gel. And I think that will make it even stay down for the day better. I mean, it's not lifting up to go anywhere oh my goodness this is amazing so i'm gonna have the links down below if you guys want to check them out if you guys want to check out more videos just search up af sister highlighted curly wig and they should pop up most likely but yeah this is the end of this video thank you for watching thank you for following me make sure you subscribe and follow me on instagram so we can keep in touch thank you guys so much for watching i will definitely see you in my next one bye